Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dan, and today we're going to take a look at this photo book over here, the company called Sal, or Sal? I'm not sure. I think it's a German word. It seems to be a German company, but operating based on the US, uh, seems like Vienna, Virginia. I used to live in Northern Virginia, so I'm familiar with that area. Anyways, I got in touch with this company here, and uh, basically they sent me this photo book for free. I had to go ahead and design it using their software as well, and that's pretty much the only way that you can order a photo book through this company here. Now, I'm not being paid to make this review, um, and they don't really have any say as far as how this video goes live. Um, they don't really review it. When, they, when you guys see it is when they will see it. And so uh, this will be my honest opinions right here. And I have not opened this package yet. So once I open it, this will be my first impressions. What you guys see is what I will be seeing. So that's enough intro. Let's get right into it. Packaging seems pretty robust. Uh, comes in this cardboard type packaging here. I'm gonna pull out the book itself. All right, I'll take the cardboard aside. It's like a little sleeve actually. Pull out of the sleeve. Here it is. First impressions. So the front top here is made in acrylic. There is a photograph underneath it. And uh, this sticker here shows all the specs and details of what I ordered. Looks like it's in German, interesting. And this sticker here is basically there to show me that there is a film on top of this acrylic. You just need to peel it off. The back is leather, black leather. Um, very classic, kind of wanted it that way. Not white leather or any of the other options. Uh, color looks good and uh, there's no marks on it. Looks great. Yeah, I don't see any defects to it. Uh, funny enough, so this is actually the same camera on this photo here um, that's also on the cover. And so I don't use this as much. I used to use a lot of Pentax cameras and nowadays I don't do a whole lot of photography and I do a lot of video nowadays and so I wanted to make like a little homage to uh, contact with this one. Here it is, this is the front cover, the Pentax. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Okay, so the glossy paper here is, uh, the quality on these photos are actually looking really, really fantastic. Um, and the pages are very thick as well. And this is the XT lineup of the photo book, and this is kind of like their core feature of it. It's about 1.1 millimeter thick. And I can try to bend it over here. You can see how rigid it is. Uh, very solid construction. Feels like a, like a thick card stock type of thing, but it's glossy material, so. Got a lot of color depth. Now, because of how rigid the page is, it is going to kind of raise this one part out if I do hold it down, but um, I don't think that's a huge issue here. But yeah, there's no seam, um, so one thing I'm definitely noticing and uh, something that I worried about is on the um, photo editing for their proprietary editing software, uh, there are basically a lot of options like this to uh, do where it crosses over the seam of the book um, to do one photo. And as you can see here, you can still look for the seam there, but it's, uh, it doesn't really affect the photo quality and it uh, looks pretty good. Some example of landscape. Now this one's great for seeing, detecting any banding issues. Um, so I made sure on the original file that there weren't any banding present uh, when I edited this photo. And I'm taking a good look at this. Yeah, I'm not noticing any banding on the photo. Colors look good. 
So yeah, so far no problem with banding at all. Now, if you are seeing any banding issues going on on YouTube, that's the problem with YouTube compression. In real life, there is actually no banding going on with these photos. Uh, now we're getting into skin tones here. Um, skin tone transition also looks very good here. Uh, some of the highlights going into the shadows. Uh, definitely, yeah, I would say that looks pretty good. There's a lot of color here with Christmas lights. Um, catch light looks good. Nothing's blown out, out of proportion there. Uh, so printing wise, looks like the color and everything is working very well. Okay, so yeah, this is the final page and the final page is actually glued on to the backing here. So the other thing I really first noticing here, uh, because it is a glossy finish, um, you are getting a little bit of orange peel type texture uh, and type of look as well. If I try to like uh, manipulate the light a little bit here, maybe I can get a better focus onto that especially around like right here if you're noticing that little divot uh, that's what we call orange peeling especially for automotive painting and so uh, that's what happens with a lot of like glossy textures there's not a whole lot you can do to avoid that but just be aware that that's going to be there um, I mean the less they can do that uh, the more quality it's going to show um, as far as their printing process and manufacturing process goes but uh, it is there. Uh, you also have a matte option, so I am definitely assuming that with a, if you go with a matte option, it'll be cheaper. You also won't have this orange peel um, thing going on, but also the gloss texture on it, just the gloss finish on it will definitely make your images pop out. It definitely brings it more to life and, and gives it a bit more of a color. And uh, yeah, it just looks good when it's glossy, so it looks more premium. And the first page is also glued on to the first acrylic side here. So overall, definitely quality. I can vouch for the quality here. It's uh, definitely a very, very good quality print. And the shipping time was pretty good. It took six days to get it to my door from ordering, and that includes over the weekend. I ordered it on Wednesday, got it on a Tuesday. And it was uh, the courier that currently that it was sent to me was DHL, but I'm guessing that in your case, depending on where you're located, that may vary as well. But in my case, sent through DHL uh, with a signature delivery. But yeah, overall quality, I'm very impressed with this product. Uh, very good looking photo book, the leather backing on it, the acrylic front, uh, no marks on it whatsoever, no defects. Definitely, it was well made. Let's get into as far as making and ordering this photo book. You have to use their proprietary software as I mentioned before. And so we'll go over that real quick and also go over the pricing as well because that is the big question. So this particular photo book was quoted at $149 and that does not include shipping. So it's not a cheap photo book by any means. Definitely the quality you're paying for that and also the fast shipment as well. You know, I got it within a week and so a week time turnover at this quality level I think is pretty good. So uh, yeah, you can judge for yourself. I just want to show you what this product looks like and how much it costs and uh, yeah, just see if this is worth it for you. If you have a special memory that you wanted to really have a good quality photo book to hold that to. Or also if you just wanted to have a really good portfolio piece to show off to your clients if you're a photographer, I think this might be something that will impress your clients as well. So let's quickly go over the software real quick. Um, as far as designing this, uh, there are three methods to go about this. There's like an auto layout thing where it just automatically does everything for you. There's also a quick layout option and then there's one where you can do everything manually. Initially, I opted for the middle option for them to do some work for me, but where I can still edit it and stuff like that. I came into some hurdles over here and I think the UI could use some work um, as far as ease of use and just uh, the intuitiveness of it really is what it is. Once you're stuck into auto mode, you cannot change it back unless you click this one button. And I couldn't find out what this button was until I, you know, I really had to look it up and look through the tutorials and whatnot. And it's this button right here that says deactivate auto layout. Now you can click this on and off so that it enables and disables the auto layout. From there, you can change the aspect ratio or whatever you need to do as far as you know shaping the photograph into the photo book here but it seems like swapping from page to page seems to have some problems here so uh it's just you really gotta like fiddle around with this auto layout and disabling the auto layout and that's kind of like how i managed to go through and uh, make this photo book that i did also within the import settings you do get a little group here and it'll show you all the photos that you have imported however it doesn't seem like you can take this and copy and paste it to another project of yours so 
Uh, definitely, I would probably say the important part before starting making this photo book, organize your photos into one folder within Windows or Mac, depending on what you're using. Make a folder that contains all your photos in one location. That way you don't have to go back and forth looking for different hard drives and different locations to find a photo that you're looking for, which was the problem that I encountered. Um, so that's, that's one of the things that are kind of a downside. And also, it doesn't have really a direct support for Illustrator or Photoshop from what I'm seeing. You really do have to design everything within the software here. Now they do have some like some layout options that are automatic and it really you know simplifies it and so um, as far as that experience goes it's very quick um, and easy to do as far as making very pleasing and aesthetically good looking layouts for your photos um, but you're definitely limited in, on, on some of the designs and if you do want to do fully manual it might take you a little while but you know that's kind of like the thing that always happens with going with manual but the only problem is that you're gonna have to learn how to use the software compared to other software that you might be already used to. Other than those few little hookups there it was a pretty much a smooth sailing experience and so I would say it's a pretty good software just needs a little work on UI and uh, just needs a little bit of work on basically uh, making things a little bit more intuitive or at least uh, you know on the button side of things I really like to have like a drop down menu like a file or edit and then the drop down menu will show you and in, in the description what exactly the uh, auto layout disabling does uh, because that was definitely confusing and so uh, definitely uh, not having any of those you know I just found it a little bit unintuitive for me that was my personal experience uh, but now you know and the final thing for this photo book is I'm definitely noticing that some of these photos looking back on it it seems to be a bit underexposed than what I'm seeing on a monitor my monitor was sRGB to spec as far as editing goes, um, so I'll probably say that uh, maybe my calibration is slightly off as far as the brightness goes or something like that, but definitely take into consideration, I think it is underexposing the shots just a little bit, so I would probably say overexpose your edits uh, maybe like a third of a step or something like that and to make sure that it's a proper exposure. So guys, that's about it for this video. So if you guys like this content, then definitely hit the good old like button and uh, subscribe if you want to. I'll be posting some videos regarding some filmmaking and photography type stuff uh, in the future. So if you guys are interested in something like that and uh, want to see my face for those uh, videos, I uh, forgot to record my face for this kind of a rookie mistake here. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys want to see that, then uh, hit the bell button, uh, the bell notification along with the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this uh, photo book, definitely leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. All right, take care.